Welcome to the wonderful world of Mortensen Math and its Explore and Discover products. We have provided this tape as a guide for directed discovery and exploration. It is not meant to limit your imagination, however. There are many great ways to learn with Mortensen Math, and you will find the methods that best support you in teaching or in study. Mathematics is nothing more than the study of numbers, and algebra is part of that study. What do we do with numbers? We count, and in a very simple way, algebra is nothing more than counting. Now I can already hear you saying, wait a minute, who are you trying to kid? I remember algebra and it wasn't anything like that. Well, you're right. Algebra probably wasn't anything like that for you. But with Mortensen Math, algebra is a series of fun games and activities that is accompanied by visual hands-on experience. And unlike your probable experience with algebra, by the time you have completed this video, you will find that algebra has become easy and fun. Mathematics is not a spectator sport. In order to learn, you must be involved by doing. If I only hear, I forget. If I hear and I see, I will remember. If I hear, see, and do, then I understand. You must use your blocks with this video. So if you do not already have them in front of you, then get them before continuing with this video. How many is this? One. How many is this? One. And how many is this? That's right, one. We can count each of these as one, but they are different kinds. This is a unit. Unit is its name, and we can count it. This is one unit. This is two units. How do we know? Because we can see, feel, and count each single unit. This is three units. Three tells us how many, and unit tells us what kind or its name. There are two parts to a number's name, the how many part and the what kind part. This is X. X is its name, but how many is it? We don't know. It could represent three or one or 562. We don't know. Your imagination can allow X to be any number. Given enough clues, we can determine what number X is. But even if we don't know what X represents, we can still count X's. This is X square. X square is its name, and like X, we do not know what amount it represents. However, we can count X squares, and we know that it is X across and X up. It is X two ways, and that is why we write it X square. X two ways, or X square. So this is a unit, and this is an X, and this is an X square. Great! With this information alone, you are now able to do a number of fun activities, the beginnings of algebraic operations. Take out of your kit three X squares and five X's and one unit. Now take out two X squares and two X's and four units. Now let's push together the like or same kinds and count what we have. We have five X squares and seven X's and five units. Since we only count like kinds, this is the answer. You have just added two polynomials and thus completed an algebraic addition problem because adding is just pushing together and counting. Remember, you only count the same kinds. Now let's try another one with a different fun twist. Let's mix them all up. Get out two X squares and three units and four X's and one unit, and one X square, and five units, and two X's, and three X squares. Now let's count the same kinds and see how many we have of each kind. How many X squares? 
six. How many X's? Six. How many units? Nine. Six X square plus six X plus nine. In algebra, this is called combining like terms or simplifying. So let's review. This is a what? A unit. This is a what? An x. This is a what? An x square. True or false? Algebra is just counting. True. True or false? In algebra, you can combine and count all kinds. False. We can only combine and count same or like kinds. With just this information, you have all you need to complete up through book four in the workbooks.